Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and good morning. Uh, I thought yesterday we had a terrific day. Uh, a lot of discussion, a lot of ideas were kicked around. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Uh, and I hope on this, the third of the three days in May, uh, that we'll have uh, as good a time as we had yesterday. Uh, it's my very great pleasure this morning to begin by introducing uh, Jeremy Rifkind. I think he's here, but I can't quite see him in the front row, but I'm sure he's somewhere. Anyway, he'll come. Uh, <laughs> this needs a great exercise in faith, I can assure you. Um, I, I, I asked a very senior journalist on the way here this morning, I said, how should I introduce Jeremy Rifkin? You know, he's known to everyone. Uh, he's written endless books. He's advised endless presidents. Whatever can I add, which people already don't know? And he said to me, just tell them he's an alternative thinker. <laughs> so this morning, Jeremy uh, started as an economist, a social scientist. He's concerned with medium long-term trends and the way they're integrated. And uh, he's going to give a presentation of, he told me, between 55 and 58 minutes, very precise, <laughs> forecasting. And after that, we're going to have, I, I may ask one or two questions, but after that, we're going to have a Q&A. So I'd like to introduce, without any further more ado, Jeremy Rifkind, wherever he is. <laughs> 